let's play us some Burrito Bison Revenge. I've gotten a few requests for this game, and I didn't even know they made a sequel. I've gotten requests for Burrito Bison. And there's a currently a little contest that ends in 13 hours, so by the time this uploads, it might be over. But um, I figured that was a good enough excuse to go ahead and play this. Fun thing about this game, the plot is actually based on a true story from my own life. See, after escaping from Candyland, I was just going to go grocery shopping, but then I noticed that my wallet was missing from my thong, which is where I always keep my wallet. I knew it was the, those goddamn teddy bears, the gummy bears. Gotta go frickin' kick their asses again. Frickin', I swear, this gummy bear crime has gotta stop. This is, this is unacceptable. This is just, this can't happen. So, we're gonna teach those frickin' gummy bears a lesson. That's what we're gonna do. So, basically, you just... It's one of those games where you launch yourself and you want to kill stuff. And go really... Well, you really just want to go really far. And you can do a sort of smashy fall-down attack like that. And you want to hit a bunch of gummy bears when you do that, because that recharges you. Catch these bad boys for extra money. If you didn't notice, there's some balloon gummy bears, too, which are, you know floaty gummy bears, so, you know, if you go up, you can still hit stuff. Let's lower the quality down to medium. That's better. Hooray! So this game's got missions. I forget if the first one did or not. But, I like the missions concept, you know, where... gives you little extra drive as you go through the game, and, you know, some goals instead of just, you know, buy all the upgrades you can. Which, by the way, is, you know pretty much how this game works. You get money, you do missions, you get upgrades. More cash. What do I want? How much money do I got? Okay. I can only got, get these two. I think the exclamation point means you can buy it. So anything that doesn't have an exclamation point, just ignore. Not sure what chubby gummies do. We want more cash, so that's we're just going to start with that. Oop, that was not great. That's your starting power. You want to get it in the white little line, ideally. This is not going to be a good jump. So you want to keep bouncing off of gummies. They keep you traveling further. You lose a lot of speed every time you bounce on the ground. You know, kind of to be expected. And they're beating the crap out of this giant cookie guy for some reason. Not really sure why, but he probably deserves it. The special gummies tend to be worth some more money. We just killed some sort of cop gummy. I'm sure he's worth money or something. I don't know. You get to see your numbers going up. Numbers going up is always good. The game will let you know you can buy stuff in the shop, so you don't have to compulsively check the shop every single launch. Unless you want to. It's okay, too. As to be expected, we're, we can't really go that far without any... You know, without good upgrades. So your first, the first thing you want to do in the game is just... You know, learn the controls, learn what's going on here, and get some money for those upgrades. I probably said this, but you want to use the jet, the rocket slam, whatever the heck they call it, onto big groups of gummies. Can we... Oh, I guess we can buy something. I don't know what chubby gummies are, but we're going to we're gonna have a chance of encountering them now. I didn't actually mean to click that, but oh well. Of course do. Yay, we completed a mission. The definitely easiest way to get money early on is just complete these missions, so try and do that. And they have nice little progress counters on here. We can't buy anything yet. Whee! And you get extra money for getting a perfect launch like that. And you smash stuff. There's not too much to say. Chubby Gummy! Click the bounce again. Okay. Whee! 
Excellent. Yeah, things that explode launch you in the air. What's the... There, there must be some sort of name for these type of games where, you know, you launch yourself and you try to go really far. Yay, we all... We almost got to the exit. I was gonna say, it seemed like I was going too far there. Excellent. We can buy that one thing. I forget what it was, but we can buy some... Oh, we can buy lots of stuff. Yeah, more money than I expected. Speed to break through giant doors. Oh, right, I think we need to... Do we have to break through a giant door at the exit of the thing? I don't know. I haven't played this game in a year. Well, I haven't played the original year. I don't know. I didn't even know this sequel came out. Oh, that's good. We need some slippery lotion for undisclosed reason. Best not to think about it. I told you don't think about it. Let's just smash some gummies. For those wondering, the uh, there's a contest on Congregate right now for smashing 400 gummies, and you can win. You get entered into a chance to win some crap. Like, Congregate t-shirt, points, and credits. I seriously doubt I'll get anything in it, but, um, just thought it was a good excuse to go and play this. Oh, that's good. I think. I don't really know how the speed thing works. I don't remember how much of this works. I remember smashing gummies, and that's, that's the extent of my prowess, honestly. And rocket slams help you keep... I think you actually gain a little bit of speed, so... Even if there's nothing to smash, sometimes you want to do it just so you can keep going. But really, they're how you keep up your momentum. Oops. Come here, bomb one. Yeah. You can only smash one at a time unless you have unless you're using a rocket thingy. I should learn the name of that. Um, but yeah, otherwise you just bounce bounce off a single one at a time. Not sure why I stop when I do that. I guess those guys you have to beat up and stuff. I sm I thought I smashed one of those before. Definitely want more rocket slams. Wait, I called it a rocket slam and a body slam. Now I'm even more confused. Chubby gummy! Whee! I don't think they did the chubby gummies in the first one. Those are fun. Nice thing, once you have a few rocket slams, you can... If you do a couple in succession, you can recharge at least one rocket slam. If you got a big enough group of gummies. But I like that for one of these, you know, go really far to the right games, they actually do a pretty good job of giving you goals and incentives instead of just, you know, buy some upgrades, you know. It's not just one of those games where the game is getting upgrades, like certain Upgrade Complete games. Did I ever play Upgrade Complete 2? Or did I only play Upgrade Complete 2? Yeah. Um... I don't think I've played both of those yet on the YouTubes. Maybe I have. It's kind of hard to remember. I'm right around 500 videos, and no, I'm probably not going to do anything special, because I don't particularly enjoy... Oh, so close. Fancy... I don't particularly enjoy fancy video editing stuff. So, probably not going to do anything that special. There are a few special games I plan to do eventually, but not quite yet. Longer games. Um, oh, yes. As usual, you pretty much want to level up everything once before you start getting the better upgrades, because they cost more. The bomb gummies are nice. And yeah, smash those... Aww. Oh. Okay, so we gotta get speed to break through the big doors. I remember that. I don't remember what happens when we break through the doors, though. It's like a different level, basically. I think you get more money and stuff. 
need to wear a propeller hat. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Oh, I don't know how we defeat Chocolate Chuck. I wasn't sure how that worked, actually. Time Taco! Rift launch against the Berserker. Can't get any of those yet. These guys are expensive. Let's see if we can get here. Oh! Do corrupted cops help us, I guess? Oh, that's definitely... we need that. If I hit him hard enough, do I defeat the cookie guy or something? I don't know. I realize I'm supposed to know these things, but... Stop playing the game, but... Crap! Those guys definitely just lay down. Stupid cop gummies. Getting in my way. Oh. Definitely try to use your rocket jump to hit the explodey things too. Pretty much any special gummy you want to hit with the uh, rocket boost. Yes! Not gonna get that far in freaking desert land. Candy cane desert something. Hmm. What else can we get? Hmm. Let's get that. We've died twice hitting the freaking cops. There seems to be some leniency in the perfect goal thing, because I'm. I definitely did not click exactly on the white marker there, but I still got it perfect anyway. Ah, Maybe I should have gotten that thing that helps you break the doors. But as you can see, we our average... there we go. Our average travel distance increases a lot, mostly based on upgrades, honestly. At least in the start of the game, as opposed to skill. But Burrito Bison's the the pace of the game is actually pretty good. You know, you don't feel like pure grindiness, unlike lots of these games. Really, I assume that guy helps. Ah, oh, crap! Should have hit the green one. I don't know what they do yet, but I'm I'm sure they're good somehow. See, I was a little bit past. Did I kill him or something? I got an achievement for something. Random achievements. Wee. Stupid cops. Wee. Yeah. See, it used to be a struggle to even get to the freaking door, and now I'm getting to the door and not even noticing I'm that close. And the gummies change colors, you get to three different zones, and I'm pretty sure they're worth more money. New opponent. Oh, we did kill him or something. Let's go pick that new opponent. Brutus. Not sure what the zero means. Oh, I have to buy him. Never mind. Can't buy nothing. <laughs> Not looking so hot, buddy. Oop. Neither was that quick. problem with Let's Playing these games, I never know when to stop. People seem to want me to, like, finish the friggin' game, but there's not too much commentary past, you know, a few launches. You know, there's later upgrades. Maybe I'll... I don't know. Maybe I'll do a break and then show you some cool stuff once I've got a bunch of upgrades. I should have wasted my thing so I could go farther. I'm kind of hitting the point where, you know, I'm not getting upgrades every single launch, so... I guess I need this guy, because I need to get that frickin' whatchamacallit, that achievement, or that mission where you hit that guy in the face. I think that bouncy balloon wrecked me from getting that other guy that I wanted. Whee! I'm surprised I had enough speed there. No! 
point. Sweet. Rocket Slam really doesn't give you that much more speed, but it does just, it does help you not lose speed. Two perfect launches in a row. That was that was not that ideal. Oh well, we're not gonna go very far here. Give me that propeller hat. Look, can you see it right? Okay. Oh. Click it when it's yellow, not when it goes green. Okay. Well, that was a pretty bad launch. Let's do one more launch. I think I can buy something. I pretty much always get the... Whenever I get the money, I always get the new cash one, because that helps you get other stuff. Get that or I'm just greedy. Boink. Uh oh. Excellent. But we're gonna lose very imminently. Well, dang. Tune in next time for I don't really know when I'll continue. Like, I'll probably get some upgrades and, like, reach the next giant door before I continue. Because I don't want to show you all the grinding. But, this is Burrito Bison Revenge. And you can play the first game too, they're really sweet.